Hello, how are you? Thank you for taking time out. I'd like to wish you a happy 2024. And I'd like to share a quotation from the Bhagavad Gita, which says our intellect is in the mode of goodness. If we understand what is proper action, what is improper, what is duty, what is not duty, what is to be feared and what not to be feared, what is liberating and what is binding. So if we have the reasoning ability to understand the differences, our intellect is in the mode of goodness. So I wish the year 2024 bestows upon you the wisdom to use your intellect to see these differences. This video is on the Nakshatra of Mula. Mula falls entirely in the sign of Sagittarius and as per mythology, more importantly, it's ruled by goddess Nirthi. She has many aspects to her personality and two of them are that she is known to be behind mass destruction and she is also known to be the mother of places which have been abandoned or people who have been discriminated against in the society. So I'll be sharing the mythology linked to Goddess Nirti first and later we'll be going through how different planets behave in Mula. So Goddess Nirti in her destructive form is known to mutilate everything at sight. So imagine a wildfire, a cyclone, a hurricane. Such natural disasters destroy everything they touch. And Goddess Nirti has this thankless job of destruction, as destruction is an important first step for a new creation. And in this destruction, she takes the lives of the ones most vulnerable. So this may paint a very negative picture of Goddess Nirti. But we must understand that destruction is necessary and she has the thankless job. Take your mind back to the pandemic. I think the COVID-19 was very Moolah-like event as during that time, the most vulnerable, the old, the ones who had health issues, were the ones who had to lose their life. And perhaps Goddess Nirti had to do this job. Loss of life and destruction can be a huge lesson for humanity. She plays that role. She is known to carry an iron noose. And with that noose, she takes away the lives of people in bundles. We also hear heartbreaking stories from war, where families are massacred. Such wars, in my view, are also under the purview of Goddess Nirti. Wars also can be a lesson for us. The last world war resulted in the creation of United Nations and we have had a prolonged time phase of peace. So wars are also necessary. And she has, once again, this thankless job behind destruction. So the first thing about Bula is that this nakshatra belongs to the nature of Tikshana, which translates to sharp and pointed. Destruction has to happen quickly and perhaps violently. A missile falls over a city, it mutilates the city instantly. That is the point I'm trying to make. This nakshatra has an extreme side. The gana, the temperament belonging to Mula, is rakshasa, demonic. And again, it has to do with the destructive powers linked to goddess Nirti. And the Mula native may also be such that the native has a direct pinpointed approach. The native may also be eager to fight and prove oneself. 
and the native may also not shy away from removing distractions from one's life, removing friends and family from one's life for the sake of one's purpose. So diplomacy may not be a strength. Before I go ahead with the classification, I want to take you back to Goddess Nirti. Her destructive power teaches us certain important lessons. One is gratitude. For what we have today, we must feel grateful for that. And when we are caught in the mix of mass destruction, we learn hard lessons, how to manage life with minimum resources. We then realize the value of food, water, money, family, etc. It also teaches us to stay grounded, to stay practical, and most importantly, to empathize with the ones who are suffering. We only can empathize, I believe, if we experience the same thing. Therefore, the agony linked to destruction and loss of life, loss of family members, that agony teaches us to be more empathetic, teaches us to be more human-like. That, in my view, is the purpose behind Goddess Nirti's activities. So Mula, therefore, is a lot about going through difficult times, going through tragedies, whether they are on a mass scale or even if they are on a small scale. Within the family, people suffer abuse, people go through poverty, people go through joblessness, people go through a difficult marriage, people go through a difficult relationship with children. Tragedy teaches us to be more grateful. Tragedy teaches us to be more empathetic. Those are lessons that are to be learned under Mula, and I'd like to share an example right away. Oprah Winfrey, she has her rising nakshatra as Mula. She was born into poverty, and I was reading her story right throughout her life. Even when she was successful, she suffered from racism, sexism. She had a very difficult life. Her mother became pregnant with her whilst she was very young. She was raised by family members. She herself got pregnant at a very young age. She had to deal with all kinds of issues. So a Mula native, therefore, can have this life where you go through tragedy after tragedy before you become this wise person who understands people, who understands the suffering of people. Right at the beginning of this video, I'd mentioned Goddess Nirti is also the mother of places which have been abandoned. Yes, she is behind mass destruction, but she also looks after those abandoned places. All places which are war-torn, which are infertile, there are cracks and crevices and craters. All such places, she's looking after those places. Furthermore, and more importantly, she's looking after people who are discriminated against, scorned by the society, who are mistreated. She looks after them. So she has a dual role. One is through destruction, teach us the value, human values, should I say, and then to look after the ones who are going through tragedy in their life. So an individual without arms and legs begging in the society, she looks after that person. An individual suffering from an incurable disease. And before I go any further, I'd like to give you a great example. Pope Francis, he has Sun and Jupiter in Mule. He's playing that maternal role in the society. I was reading just recently, he's mentioned the church itself should be poor and should be for the poor. Throughout his life, he has spoken against poverty, inequality and social injustice. He has been fighting for the ones who are abandoned in the society, left behind, discriminated against. He's a perfect example. Another great example is Martin Luther King Jr. He has sat in in Mule. In one of his speeches, the most famous one, I have a dream, 
the people would be judged by the strength of their character and not by the color of their skin. He advocated for equality. Isn't that what Mullah is all about? Certain people, certain section of the society being mistreated, discriminated against, and a Mullah native is fighting their cause. Now this nakshatra has the guna of the masik, darkness. Imagine a city, a region, or a country suffering from war. Isn't there darkness? There's no food, there's no water, there's no electricity. In that darkness, we begin to realize the importance of the small things we take for granted. Most of us take for granted. We learn how to stay more grounded. And that groundedness is also linked to the symbol associated with Mula, and that is a root of a plant or a tree. Mula is all about practicality. If we take the example of Purva Falgani, Purva Falgani is more about public display. Entertainers have a strong Purva Falgani's influence, but Mula is all about doing things for others and to remain grateful doing so. Social workers are directly seen from Mula. I've earlier shared a few examples to Pope Francis, Martin Luther King Jr., both of them social workers essentially. The roots of a plant or a tree signify getting to the root of a problem. This nakshatra is also about solving complicated problems by getting to the root issue. Ketu is ruling this section of the sky and Ketu is known to bestow piercing logic on the native. So a Mula native naturally would excel in research of any kind. So you'd find scientists of any kind, from microbiologists to the ones working in oil and gas, to crime investigators. Such professions require you look at the issue deeply, closely, get to the root issue. And since Ketu is its ruler, the native could naturally be inclined to ancient sciences of any kind. The native can also become an expert in herb therapy. The roots of certain plants are known to be medicinal and therefore the native may have a natural inclination towards that. And Ketu being its ruler, the native may have an interest in tracing one's own ancestry or be a student of history. I'd even include astrologers. Mula is all about getting to the root of the issue. Any profession that requires a close examination, in my view, is Mula linked. So when you read a birth chart, you have to look at things very closely. Every planetary position is telling a story and you have to put the story together, which is similar to to a crime investigator who's looking at every small clue and is putting together a story. And career can be dominated by a past life skill. So if you have the ruler of your career house in Mula, you'd say, you know what, I don't know why I landed up in this career, why I chose this path, I was naturally drawn to it. You can be an expert in what you do. It's not going to be any surprise to you that this nakshatra belongs to the caste of a butcher, which is the same caste belonging to researchers. To highlight the research-oriented side of Mula, I have two great examples. Thomas Edison, who has Mars and Moon in Mula. He's once said, genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. I'm trying to highlight the inclination of the Mula native to get to the bottom of things. In his case, Mars and Moon, both of them, I find to be, in Mula. He, the other great example is Srinivasa Ramanujan, who has Sun in Mula. In his chart, you also find Jupiter, Anuradha, Mercury, Jester, which are all behind his mathematical ability. So this is the story or the summary of Goddess Nirti, her role, and this nakshatra. So if you have your rising as Mula, you'd have a direct pinpointed approach to everything. You'd be about 
practicality, realism, groundedness and not caught up in lofty ideas. Do not be afraid to cut ties with people around you to accomplish your goal. The sign this nakshatra falls in is ruled by Jupiter. So you'll naturally be philosophical in your thinking and as a person, but you'd have a very direct practical approach to life. Another important thing you must consider is the sign the nakshatra falls in in the Navamsha. If it's the sign of Aries, I think you'll be more passionate, driven, self-motivated to do things. Diplomacy wouldn't be your strength. And you can be an inspiration to others, but may be known for quick temper. This destructive side linked to Mula might be part of your character. You may even fall prey to addictions. Ketu is ruling this section of the sky. This is a difficult position as Martian energy is also known for impulsive behavior or action without thinking. If it's the sign of Taurus, then you'd shine through in whatever you do. Think the maternal side of this nakshatra would be on display and you might attract attention for your concern for others. If it's the sign of Gemini, then the research-oriented side of this nakshatra would be more visible. You'd be very curious to find things out. Crime investigators to the ones who watch detective shows or they like solving puzzles. This I find to be a strong position as Mercury shares a good relationship with both Ketu and Jupiter. And lastly, if it's the sign of Cancer, then the maternal side linked to this nakshatra, which is a very important function of Mula, would be on display. You'd be a person who naturally cares for people, particularly the ones who are suffering. You'd have the quality of empathy in your character and people might find you as someone they can depend on. So you may play a maternal role in the lives of people around you who you care for. People would rely on you under difficult circumstances. Think if Mula finds itself in the sign of cancer. It's the strongest position as we get to see the softer maternal side in this position. So if Moon is in Mula, think you'd feel for the ones who are suffering. You might encounter circumstances in your life that teaches you the value of empathy. So you may go through some tragedy of some kind which makes you very humble and caring for the ones who are going through something similar. I find this position to be strong as the softer maternal side of Mula would be very prominent in the native's behaviour and your care for others can also lead to a career in Ayurveda or using root therapy of some kind or simply a career in medical research. You'd be a very research-minded person. Everything you find interesting, you'd like to get to the bottom of things. And think the demonic side linked to Mula would be on display. Think you'll be up in arms against the ones who are making others suffer. In a way, you'd be a social worker of some kind. That would be your natural thinking process. There's a lot to like about this position. The major downside is the native can fall prey to addictions. We must not forget this nakshatra is ruled by Ketu. So the native may resort to drugs, for example, for stimulation, or the person may like to follow an isolationist policy. The person may cut off ties with people around oneself. Circumstances in life, however, eventually would make the native very sound, very grounded, very practical, very realistic in one's thinking. That's my view of Moon in Mula. Sun Mula-like person, in my view, firstly, can inspire people 
with one's ability to solve complicated problems by getting to the root cause of the problem, like lead scientists or lead engineers in the oil and gas sector where they have to look at various aspects of the problem to find a solution. Like recently, miners in India were stuck and scientists were asked to come together to, to release them. So they looked into the problem, looked at every aspect and devised a solution. And they were finally able to release the miners such problem solving, which also has a social aspect to it, is very Muna-like. Medical research, therefore, directly in my view, is linked to Sun and Muna. Sun is known to eradicate diseases and Goddess Nirti has a maternal side. In leadership roles, you are going to lead by example and you'd remain practical, realistic. Your ideas won't be lofty, but they would be well researched. You'd be known for a well thought out plan, a well researched plan. The downside I see is the native becoming excessively competitive. The desire to defeat one's opponents, whether it's on a political front or in business sector or elsewhere, the native would want to win. That is Sun's character and in Mula, given its demonic temperament, the native can get into these battles and may have a no mercy policy. And due to that, the native may not be excellent at building relations. Some might say the native suffers from an ego problem and the ego might stem from the belief the native would have that the native knows more. The native has gone through things so thoroughly that the native is unwilling to accept someone else's version. The native can have a career in research and academics in whichever field it depends on where Ketu is placed, where Jupiter is placed and in which sign is it falling in the Navamsha and where that sign ruler is placed in both the charts. On the whole, I find this position to be strong. think your leadership would be inspirational. And if you follow a path of spirituality, you can go to the extreme, completely isolating yourself from your family and friends. So going to the extreme is one of the major downsides, but you have the capability to achieve extraordinary things, particularly in the field of research. That's my view. The research-oriented side of Nakshatra would be very visible when Mercury is here. You are combining intellect, reasoning ability, with the ability of a Mula native to look at a problem closely, examine an issue closely. And interestingly, you'd have the ability to explain your findings efficiently. Like business consultants, They've put together their research, they've looked at the client's issues closely and now they've compiled a report, a presentation for example. And the presentation would be fact-based, well-researched and very meaningful, very insightful. A career in market research, business strategy, even advertising is possible. The only downside I see here is the native going to the extreme in defeating one's opponents, particularly, for example, in the business sector, like building a strategy to completely annihilate one's competitors in the same space, in the same industry. So the native may not worry about the consequences and may go to the extreme to achieve one's business goals other than that, this is a strong position. The native can also be an expert in an ancient science which the native might be naturally drawn to. Within medicine, the native can have a career in dermatology. And lastly, the native would be a friend to the ones who are suffering. That would be the native style of looking after the ones who are mistreated in some ways. Like in the business sector, 
there's an employee who has suffered some discrimination. So Mercury Mula like person can comfort that mistreated person like a friend. And within one's own friend circle, the native could be treated as a caretaker of some kind. That's my view. When Venus is in Mula, the native would have a natural inclination to help others. Moon and Venus, in my view, have a strong maternal energy. When Venus is there, the native's help can be financial in nature, as Venus signifies money. This can even translate to the native attracting a partner who is very charitable, ever ready to help the ones who are suffering. The native oneself would have that strong desire to help the ones, if one can, financially. Within the finance sector, the native would make an excellent researcher and the native would seek a partner who has that character, who is charitable and the bond, the relationship, marriage itself can be built on the foundation of realism, practicality. Perhaps the native has learned some lessons in relationships which has made the native become more practical, more realistic marrying for practical reasons rather than marrying someone only on the basis of romance and the native's creativity would lie in finding beauty in things which are abandoned like we hear stories of individuals who are collectors of things they find lying around on a beach somewhere for example people who beautify things which were left by the society. On YouTube you come across videos where someone has renovated an old house or someone has fixed an old machine. Things of the past. You're beautifying things of the past essentially. It's a very interesting position Venus in Mula. The major downside can be linked to the addictive side linked to Mula due to Ketu's rulership and Venus is known to be linked to the materialistic pleasures of life. So the person may find pleasure in living by oneself. And in that isolation, the native can fall prey to addictions. Other than that, I find this position very fascinating. I find the work of the ones who are beautifying, renovating, or repairing things from the past very fascinating. And that, in my view, is Venus Mula link. Mars in Mula belongs to researchers who are combining their research with their engineering ability, with their technical skills. And the native would be very passionate, very driven, very self-motivated to do things, to fulfill one's mission, to complete one's research, to look at every small detail. A Mars Mula-like person, in my view, make the best researchers and their research can be centered around the past. The ones working in genetics, for example, or astrology, you look at information present in the past, you're analyzing it, understanding it, breaking it down, technically examining things. And on top of this, the native would be very entrepreneurial. The native can be behind scientific inventions of some kind. And the native would be a protector of the ones who are suffering. The native actually would be willing to fight for the ones who are mistreated in the society, like lawyers, human rights lawyers specifically, the ones in the society who are fighting social injustice of some kind. The major downside is the approach the native might take would be in the extreme. The native might take steps which disturbs harmony so sometimes we see protests leading to violence. A Mars Mula-like person driven by this passion and drive to save the society can lead to that. The native may oneself become part of the problem. So the native would need guidance how to direct one's passion and energy in the right direction. And the other downside would be the native's inability to work in a team. The native may feel that the native has the best understanding of things. 
given the native's technical soundness and research capability, the native may not be a good team player. The native might even be uncompromising on one's own plans. So this is a mixed bag. This is a mixed bag, Mars in Mula. The native, even though capable of extraordinary things, which can even lead to inventions of some kind, the native may have trouble working with others specifically. This combination, in my view, also belongs to yoga teachers, as we are combining Mars, Jupiter and Ketu. Yoga, in my view, belongs to Jupiter and Ketu. And yoga involves physical activity, which is Mars-linked. So Mars Mula and later Mars Revati, in my view, are combinations belonging to yoga teachers. Or a career in physical therapy is possible. The major challenge the native would face would be to channelize one's passion in the right direction. And here, the reading of the position of Ketu and Jupiter would be very important. That's my view of Mars in Mula. I think Jupiter in Mula belongs to researchers, particularly the ones who are finding things out from the past. Historians can have Jupiter in Mula, medical researchers, particularly the ones specializing in genetics, can have Jupiter Mula. This is a beautiful combination in my view, as the native would not only be research oriented, the native would also have the stamina to complete one's research, to fulfill the purpose behind one's research. Research is never ending, but conclusions can be reached at several stages. And those conclusions go missing if the researcher gives up, which wouldn't be the case if Jupiter is in Mula. The native may educate and inspire and motivate the ones who are suffering in the society, like initiatives in the education sector, where affordable education is provided to the ones who are not as privileged as others. The native may even inspire the society to learn lessons from the past. What have we achieved by going on war? Furthermore, the native can even be a spiritual leader on the merit of one's spiritual progress in the past lives. In this life, the native may naturally assume the role of a spiritual leader, Jupiter Mula. This is an excellent position if the native wishes to explore the world, if the native wishes to travel for the purpose of education, research, research not necessarily for academic reasons, but for personal reasons. The native might be very fond of knowing more about different cultures. And Jupiter and Mula would provide many opportunities, in my view, particularly under Jupiter's dasha, to fulfill your ambitions for exploration. It's very likely you'd be attracted to ancient sciences. This is an excellent position. If the native wants to be an astrologer, for example, since the sign of Sagittarius, where Jupiter falls, is also ruled by Jupiter. I find this to be a very strong position. One of the only downsides I see is the native may go to the extreme to prove one's understanding to be correct. Like sometimes scientists, they get into a debate. The conclusions drawn by one scientist could be such that it challenges the other scientist. So a Jupiter Mula like scientist may go to the extreme to prove oneself to be right and can get excessively competitive on a philosophical plane. Other than that, I find Jupiter Mula as a very strong position. That's my view. Saturn Mula like individual, firstly, can be involved in an ancient science of some kind. The native actually can be an expert in an ancient science. Both Saturn and Ketu are directly linked to the past. The native would be very service oriented. And in that case, the native can be looking after the ones who don't have a home. 
like individuals who volunteer to look after facilities meant for the homeless or look after the welfare of the ones who are homeless serving the ones who don't have material resources food, water, accommodation etc a certain mula like person would be part of the system serving the ones who are suffering due to lack of facilities like building toilets in places where people didn't have that facility it's a very certain mula like initiative building facilities for clean drinking water where such facilities were missing providing food for the ones who cannot afford it so a certain mula like individual one way or the other is going to be serving the society and in research the native would be relentless the native wouldn't give up so Saturn's determination would drive the native to fulfill and accomplish the purpose behind the research and due to that you'd be a master in your field you'd inspire people not only through your research but also the effort you've made if Saturn Mula falls in your personality related houses, you could be seen as someone who's very conservative, a follower of tradition. The major downside is going to the extreme, cutting off ties with people around you for the sake of your public service. Earlier, I shared the example of Martin Luther King Jr., who had Saturn in Mula. He was fighting for the ones who were discriminated against. One of the other downsides that can be linked to this position is the native may isolate oneself and in that isolation the native may fall prey to addictions of some kind and lack of cheerfulness may also be part of the native's character. The native may take things too seriously. Altogether, I think it's a strong position. Rahu Mula, it's a case where you look into the future by taking into account the things that have happened in the past. A historian is a perfect example, or the ones taking inspiration from the research done in the past, and you're presenting those ideas differently in a way which would help the society in the future. So whilst your intention might be to do something which helps the society, there's a high possibility your research can lead to a creation of something which hurts the society. You might delude yourself into thinking your research, your work would have a positive impact. You may find unconventional ways to help the ones who are suffering. Like you may create an online portal for the ones who can post their issues and seek help. So you could be an unconventional social worker, someone who's following a foreign approach to helping the society. This is a good position if you'd like to travel. Rahu Mula can lead to travel opportunities in your life, particularly under Rahu's Dasha. One of the downsides other than delusion would be going to the extreme in pursuit of one's goals in life, but also excessive competitiveness. This Tikshana side where you'd like to defeat an alternative point of view somehow and falling prey to addictions can also be another downside to this position as Rahu and Ketu now are coming together. Despite all of this, think the native can be behind extraordinary scientific inventions, that's my view. Ketu, Mula like individual are researchers best known to do their research in isolation and that is a strength and a weakness at the same time. The native may be behind scientific inventions but in doing so the native may cut off ties with people altogether and in that isolation the native naturally can fall prey to addictions of some kind whether it's the addiction of the work itself the native is very likely to be an expert in an ancient science of some kind the native would have piercing logic the native would be very analytical so if you find Ketu in Mula in your career house and the other planetary positions suggest a career in finance, think your way of looking at things, 
your way of understanding financial markets, your way of analyzing data would be such that your logic would be unbeatable. You also make an excellent strategic planner, whether it's in politics or in war specifically. Ketu is known to be part of the planetary army. So a war strategist, someone who has looked at information on opponents and has now planned their destruction. And in the process, the native would go to the extreme. The native can be behind planning things which may completely annihilate opponents, whether it's in the business sector or on the war front. This is a difficult position, Ketu Muller, as the tendency of the native to go to the extreme is going to be very strong. And the direct, pinpointed, isolationist policy of the native may also make the native not very likable. The native may lack diplomacy. And lastly, the native may naturally feel for the ones who are suffering as if the native has oneself gone through a similar tragedy. And so the native may feel inspired to give up on one's own comforts to help others. The native can be very self-sacrificing. That's my view of Ketu in Mula. Thank you for watching this video till the very end. If you have any questions, please post a comment. And if you'd like to stay in touch, please subscribe to this channel. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.